<laughs> All right, so this topic is going to be sexual harassment and harassment in general. Yes. So harassment, discrimination, sexual harassment is a violation of both Maine and federal law. It is something that they take seriously and often ways are probably and seriously investigated. Um, if you're being harassed, you're supposed to file a complaint, uh, and then it goes to the chief for investigation, and then it goes up the chain from there. Um, so how does harassment impact the workplace? Well, it creates an atmosphere that is unpleasant to work in. It definitely hurts employee morale. Uh, employees lose respect for management and for each other, overall rotation of the company, and its management is now tarnished to that point. It makes retention of good employees difficult. So how does harassment impact the workplace? Uh, may result in prolonged or, expense, or expensive administration, administrative and legal action that can detract from the business of running the company. Destroyed reputations. Money gets put into this. I can tell you right now that the town of Shapley will not put money in the Sluckman's office. They'll come out of the fire department budget. There's an issue over here. As we all know, our budget is small. It should be a lot bigger than what it is. Be able to do the things we want to do here. And how he's been managing a hundred thousand dollar budget for as long as he has been, not including obviously truck stuff, you know, purchasing new truck. Our budget's crap. It's very, it's very small. Mm -hmm. um, so to have a lawsuit come through and have it come out of that, our funds could destroy us. Mm -hmm. So keep this stuff in mind. There are two types of uh, types of harassment or sexual harassment. What they call the quid pro quo, which involves a situation in which a person in a position of authority attempts to trade a benefit of employment for sexual favors, like a raise, promotion, shift assignment, and exchange for sex. That's the quid pro quo. Um, claims of this nature were much more common in the early years of anti harassment legislation, but occur less frequently um, in less frequency in the past 10 years. But it's important to remain vigilant reports such claims if they do occur. The other one's a hostile workplace case. In this type of harassment, there is no clear definition. So in general, a hostile work environment exists when the employer either, either creates or allows to continue a situation related to sexuality that is offensive and makes it difficult or impossible for an employee to continue working. It doesn't have to be a sexual thing to be anything that makes it. And one of the big hostile workplace cases that's most recently come up that people haven't had a chance to read like the fosters and like that is the one in Dover, New Hampshire. You guys seen that before? Really? No. Dover Fire Department, have you seen my most recent one? If you really, if you have not had a chance to look at that, just do a Google search for Dover, New Hampshire Fire Department uh, harassment case. And that's been hazing. That they do with a firefighter being hazed. It's quite the article. It's quite an article. I'm not sure if you want the case or not. I'm probably still in the courts. But involved captains and things like that and full shift assignments. He's a new guy. Uh, they got really bad if you read through what happened there. So that's still a hostile workplace environment. Uh, sexual harassment is uh, of this type, maybe many different forms. Inappropriate touching. So if I walk up to Brian and say, but I say, how's it going? Like that. He may not like that. That could be inappropriate touching. I get it all day at work. I'm not going to give you uh, unwelcome sexual advances. Uh, unwelcome sexual advances or sexual suggestive or offensive language. So if you start dropping f bombs, someone could take offense to that because that also comes off as a sexual advance, right? And if you look at the city of Westbrook, which happened quite a few years ago, they had the same situation happen where f bombs were being dropped and things like that, and three employees went and filed a harassment complaint workplace. Um, sexual harassment complaint, and they won. They won the case. And because of that, everybody in the department had to go through sensitivity training. And they can no longer <laughs> swear in the, in the workplace anymore. And if they are, they can lose their job. So if you're on team, something don't go right, and you're like, can I treat you? You can't do that. If someone finds offense. I was going to say, you can do that. You can do that, but the... The consequences, well, I you can do anything it. once, but the consequences behind that, if someone doesn't like what you've said, can report that. Right. They, should be coming, they should be coming to you and say, Brian, 
I really don't like that language to be stop. Exactly. If it continues to happen, though, okay, that becomes a hostile environment. There could be something taken in the sexual. I was going to say, because there's, there's probably times that you've been on a oh, yes. uh, call or something like that. I think we've all done it. Yeah. Right. But amazing. unfortunately, though, the way things have gone is this is where things are headed. Um, sexual uh, suggestive or offensive language, sexual jokes, or even racial jokes, same thing. Um, offensive displays such as photographs or drawings, uh, inappropriate gestures, and things like that. So, you really need, I mean, I know we all laugh and joke and have fun with this stuff here, but some people can take this pretty seriously and it could destroy your life. Mm -hmm. Last thing you want to be, what want to happen is you're being terminated from a volunteer department for a sexual harassment complaint because you think you're going to drop somewhere else in the fire service. Not going to happen. You're done. Uh, in general, sexual harassment involves conduct that takes the place in the course of employment, but in certain cases it's appropriate for an employee to complain about off-duty conduct. An employee receives a sexually offensive telephone call or emails from another employee. Okay, this could happen, it can be taken away to the station, and it can make things very hostile to come to work. On the job harassment, a female employee is hugged by a male employee each time they meet. He tells her that her boyfriend is lucky to have someone as sexy as her as a girlfriend. <laughs> Can't do that. An employee asks another employee if his girlfriend is giving him enough sex. Can't happen. This stuff cannot happen in the workplace. Number three, an employee is told by a supervisor that he is going to recommend her for transferring his shift because he would enjoy having someone as hot with me as her to look at all day long. Mm -hmm. um, a male employee is often seen around the base by other employees reading objectionable magazines with naked photos of women. Once again, cannot happen. An employee is offended by the fact that two other employees are always kissing and displaying affection for each other around the office, around the station. A supervisor is seen looking at pictures of naked women on the internet. These are all things that have happened here in the past. Through all the years that I've been here, I've seen this happen. An employee is repeatedly asked out for a date even though she's made it clear that she is not interested. Uh, an employee tells a sexual joke in the day room that most employees find funny, but an employee finds it offensive and degrading. An employee wears a button on her uniform that says, I love sex. Again, things that have all happened. <laughs> Supervisor tells an employee that he'd rather have her call him on the phone than send an email because he loves hearing her sexy voice. Again, harassment. Can't do it. Important to keep in mind, a complaint of sexual harassment may exist even if the person filing the complaint was not involved in the conduct being complained of. So employee A finds it offensive to witness employee B and appropriately touching employee C. So if I walk up and touch Brian and Chris doesn't like that, that's sexual harassment. You can't do anything. Just keep your hands to yourself and keep your belt strapped. If you guys are like, right here as you're together, yeah. you cannot hug in the station or kiss in the right. station. Because right. I may find it offensive and record it. I've hit all these at least once with Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. That's just weird. So the, complaint, <laughs> so the complaint process, this is how you're supposed to do this here, is a complaint of sexual harassment should be brought to your fire chief. The complaint will be promptly investigated. There should be statements taken from the people involved. Witnesses will be interviewed and other evidence will be obtained. And trust me, text messages, people save them. Oh, yeah. Facebook messages, they're always online. You can find them. So keep that in mind when you start texting people certain things and, and things like that. Just remember, everything is kept. I have messages on my phone that I've had on there for three years. I have Facebook messages that I've never deleted since I first started Facebook. Did you have all that? Storage phone. <laughs> but Facebook Messenger? Yeah. Since the since the start of Facebook Messenger, I've never deleted a message off of it. I have. Ever. I can go back when it first started and I can find people that I talk to that I'm not even friends with anymore. And they're still listed on there. So don't think that things can't be traced and bound. Snapchat? 
<laughs> we don't have to delete, but you know what? I can take a screenshot. Yep. You know, you, you know that I take one, but still. You can take one without knowing too. Yeah, there's ways you can take it without knowing. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Sure there is. You, Snapchat, the actual company, has like a storage place where they keep all the Snapchats. I'm sure. Even though they delete. I'm sure they have some deal with something you can send all those things. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, the evidence will then be reviewed and then determination made as soon as possible. Severe results are possible. Complaint dismissed or unfounded. Remediation or counseling or disciplinary action through including determination. So you no longer have a job here. In addition to any action, the complaint, complaining party may also file a complaint with the main state human rights commission. Depending on the action taken at the commission, the employee may also file an action in the state or federal court. So you can go this far. So if I like the way you two are doing things here, and if you touch her inappropriately on the back and I feel it's offensive, I can bypass the fire chief and the selectman and take you right to court if I feel it necessary. But we won't find it offensive if you decide to do that. But you may not. What about the other people that are on the department too? Hey Amen. So you just gotta keep basically come to work do your job and go home. Yeah. yeah well, if you want to fraternize, do it, do it on your off hours away from here, make sure you don't somebody else who doesn't want to be talked to or touched. Alright, other forms of harassment. So we've been discussing a lot of sexual stuff, but also involve on important to understand that all forms of harassment are considered unacceptable and illegal. And will not be tolerated. So remember, and, and may result in disciplinary action through including termination. What else is illegal? Race, creed, color, religion, nationality, sex, marital status, condition of handicap or disability, or sexual orientation. Sex is illegal. I would say all that's illegal. Yes, the way it's phrased is weird. Right. Out of what? Sex being male or female. Marital status. Marital status? It's talking about these things. How is that? I'm talking about Yeah, it's right. talking about it. Yes. That's what, really That's what is illegal. So this, sex is not illegal. <laughs> but if you if I, but if I say I'm not gonna hire you because you're a male, right? That's illegal. It's illegal. Or because you're gay or a lesbian. You know, because you're black, Asian, Somalian, whatever. Boy. Wait. Discrimination of any kind is unacceptable and is considered a serious matter, and all employees, including supervisors and managers, are expected to be respectful of one another. Harassment undermines respect. So, any questions at all on that? Mm -hmm. Do you have any other questions for discrimination or harassment referred to your department chief? That's what some of you for anything, any kind of issues that may come about. They can kind of set you to what direction you need to go into. But they'll start the investigation. Um, the best thing to do if you have a complaint is put it in writing. Document the complaint, Make submit sure it. Always we'll keep copies of your yes. Keep copies of everything that you do. So let's say I have two roommates and they're always kissing. Can I file a complaint No, that's out. No, that's out. Why are Yes. Here because it's not like if anything, me and I'm probably disagree a little bit more here. Alright. And that is completion of this program.